Hi guys, it's Kornikov here. Today I will share you some basic tips for every agent in the game so you will find your best one. Astra, I'm not recommending to uh, beginners to play with this character at the moment, but if you want to play with it, always, always leave one star for yourself or for other scenarios, like because some people might ask you for something really, really extra and really, really fast, and if you don't have a uh, free star for it, it might cause a problems. Breach is quite situational agent, like it's my main, and the most important thing I can say you for all, almost all flash uh, characters, just look at your rider. Like if you see the situation when you can flash for your teammate, you just literally see that it will be a perfect flash, just use it. Let's go for the next one, Brimstone. I just recommend you to learn the lineups for his mollies. Uh, because it's the most important skill for him and also it's very good because it's maybe the best mole in the game. Let's go for Chamber. That's a troll agent right now. I don't recommend you to use it at all. Most of the time it's useless. My only tip I can like give to you is use your TP in the, only in the places where you can definitely be safe. You will not be pushed like that, like for example on Ascent you can use the TP here, so you will get a safe spot, like if you get a contact getting kill or you're, you know that you're not in, like you're in a disadvantage, you should just TP and you will be safe. Uh, heading for the next one, Cypher, learn a lot of setups for him, especially on defense side. You need to always aim your um, trips on you know, your head, it's obviously the, the most common thing. Also, look in your setups where you can place the traps like uh, so they will not be destroyed. For example, like uh, Cypher setups, uh, there's trips like here and people from May can't really destroy it. They need to swing it or use it, uh, use some utility like nades to destroy it. So it, there is actually good. Uh, Deadlock is a new character. If you're playing an attack site on Deadlock, it's actually really cool to use your uh, wall on the entrances, like from like where uh, different side can start the retake. For example, you're with team, like you take to uh, like B side, for example, on Ascent. And after that, you can use your wall on like market or city. And it will be so annoying for enemy team to make a retake from this point because like they literally need to use a lot of bullets to destroy this thing. And uh, you know, with the last patch, People don't, don't have a lot of bullets, so it's kind of funny. So let's go for the fate. If you have, a, like, for example, race or someone with who you can combine your utility, with Sova or race nade, uh, with Sova shock that's in a race nade, you can just use the uh, blob to make people stuck here and uh, use their uh, your like teammates damage utility to make a lot of damage and maybe kill someone so that's the tip like use this uh, setups more and you will get some surprisingly easy kills like not, not for you but your, for your teammates and you will get easy assists gecko my basic tip i think you should abuse his flash more because the thing is that there is a lot of space uh, in al almost on every map uh, a lot of positions where you can use your flash to in uh, get some info and uh, get your flash back so you can get an, a lot of info after that also like you're throwing the flash you can take it back you have a cooldown of 10 seconds i guess and after that you are getting another flash uh, that you uh, that you can use like for uh, achieving your goals like winning the round or something else harbor a very situational character uh, on different side don't be scared to use your utility just like to blocking one entrance or two whatever just, you, you, you just need to cycle it. Just use your first um, uh, cascade after that. You're going for the second one when it goes back, uh, goes down, I mean, and after that you can use your wall, or actually I recommend you first using the wall and after that cascade because it will cool down. So use your utility a lot and uh, you'll be fine on defense. Uh, jet. Jets are commonly forgetting to check uh, some positions with their dash like that. So my main tip for uh, her, so use your smoke with dash uh, and also don't forget to check some positions with your dash, like look right or left when you're, while you're dashing because it's very important to get your info. Kayon, try to understand how far the flashes are flying like to the spots. You can just understand like how the flash will fly and uh, you will be very creative and very versatile with using it. So you will just understand how it flies. Just feel the flashes. Um, Killjoy. I recommend you for this character to use, use your Killjoy uh, ult 
kind of unexpected. Currently, well, even in rankets right now, people learn the lineups for almost every Killjoy ult in this game. So if you are placing your first ult, uh, try like for example on Ascend, not put it like on like that on this thing, but try to place it on the boxes. So for enemies, it will be hard to destroy it. If you see that people still destroy your uh, Killjoy ult in this game, you just need to replace it in some other positions where it will be harder. Don't be afraid to place your ult, uh, su uh, sacrificing like some positions that you can't cover with it, but at least your ult will work. Neon. It's actually a trick. You can do a, a backslide. So the thing is, like with the normal uh, run, you can use the backslide. It's just impossible. Game doesn't allow you to do a back a backslide. But if you will catch the timing uh, while like pressing W, and after that, un uh, like uh, instantly pressing uh, like back button, whatever it binded, you can actually hit the backslide. Use it for uh, like some checking some positions because people will not hit you probably with that. Omen. So, for Omen, enter the first person mode, uh, aim for your smoke, like be ready, uh, prepare your smoke to aim on like B main, and just jump check. When you will see the enemy, just uh, use your smoke, and the thing is, you will see the enemy perfectly. You will be in a good spot, and obviously it's very useful, guys, use it. Uh, Phoenix, I just recommend you to use your flashes in, like, in unexpected positions. For example, you can use it like in Windows, like it's unexpected because will, people will not expect that. So, to, so you can clear some positions, use your flashes like that sometimes. It, mi it might help you. Race, um, one of the best duelists in the game, but there's a lot of good uh, satchel plays that you can use and, and if you will use them, you will improve your knowledge of how you can use your satchels. The thing is that like setups are pretty cool. And the small basic tip uh, about the satchels also, uh, the thing is that you need to be as far as possible from the satchel when you are using it. S uh, so you will uh, like fly more distance. Let's go for the next one, uh, Reina. No tips for this ancient. Uh, like it's literally just fully individual one. It's uh, mostly troll because it, it completely relies on individual performance. Maybe the only basic tip I can say like when you're just fighting with someone, be ready to spam your uh, utility that you can use, like the dismiss utility, so you can leave the uh, fights, the gunfights faster. Sage, um, situational agent. I recommend you not to use the setups with your walls, like that helps you to make some boosts. Or maybe on, like, only on the maps where the wall is very useless. Like these lineups are actually sometimes ruining uh, like rounds because like you're literally wasting utility just trying to frag someone. You can use it only in situations where you sh where when you're very sure that you can kill someone. Try to use this tip; it will help you probably uh, to be better for your teammates. Uh, let's head to the next one. Uh, Sky, use your flashes more like just like this thing because people are mostly not reacting to this one. It's hard to react on these flashes. So pop flashes are actually good, use them more. Let's head for the SOA. A lot of SOAs in rankets are wasting their utility. For example, they're using uh, like their SOA drone like too fast. Like if you're using your drone uh, almost at the start of the game, you're doing something wrong. Don't do like that, use your recon. So that's the last character in the game, Wiper. Just use your orb with your mollies uh, on attack side when you're playing for post plants. Because uh, basically it will just do a double damage. It will be uh, such an annoying thing to try to defuse the bomb while he's in orb. For orbs, you can easily find the lineups. You just, like for example, like basic tip, maybe not everyone knows that. But if you're main wiper and want to like find some lineups by yourself, not finding some TikTok lineups, you know. I just recommend you to use like you can just join the lobby, uh, custom lobby, uh, turn on cheats, and uh, you see on minimap, for orb, you actually have a pretty good uh, hood that shows you where the orb lands, and it's very useful. I really hope Valorant or devs will do it for other agents, they, you will see where it will land, because you know you're spending a lot of time finding some lineups, on, and on Viper it's like literally the easiest one. So if you want to find the lineups for orbs, just go into the lobby and find it like in a few seconds. It's not really hard. Okay guys, 
Yoru chip. I don't have it in list. I don't know why, but maybe they just deleted this chart and it's actually good because you don't need to play this chart. Just delete it. Forget about the chart. I will not say even in tip. That's my protest now. Don't play this shit. Never. Never. Thanks everyone who was watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe to all our social channels for Fnatic and um, see ya.